Okay, let's backtrack. <sighs> right. Hi, welcome back to my channel. And this, yes, this is my second video. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. And this is the second part of the Taste of Waldorf challenge where I'm recreating two of Waldorf's amazing popular dishes. This time I'm making the Doni curry. This I can do, like I can do me a good curry. I remember when I first started cooking, it was back in uni days, I believe, that I used to cook a lot of food and like, it, it, my place was like the spot where people came over, we used to just cook, jam, eat, such good times. And honestly, cooking this is just gonna remind me of basically that. And anytime I have a get together now, I always cook my curry. This is slightly different to what I usually do, however, but I'm still excited to make it. It's something that I'm familiar with and I can't wait to share with you. Earlier, Waldorf dropped off this massive wicker basket full of the freshest ingredients and the key ingredients to the two dishes that I'm going to create. So for this, I'm gonna use some fish, and this is reef fish in particular, some rice, and this is more Devian curry paste. I have some curry powder, I have my, come on, my Maggi and my Noor cubes, say no more. We're gonna use some onions, garlic, coconut milk, my favorite. I love my curries, creamy, and this is the key to all of that. Some pepper, black pepper, some sea salt. And I'm gonna serve this with naan bread as well as pompadoms. So let's get going. So to start off, chop up some red onions followed by some garlic. Then add some avocado oil. And avocado is great. It's so much better suited for high heat cooking and so rich in antioxidants. Once the oil is hot, go ahead and add those onions. I actually have some curry powder to pack to me, so I'm just gonna pop that in. Ooh, it smells so aromatic. That is so powerful. <laughs> it went right on my nose. Are you ready? Are you ready for it? So I don't think you're ready. Stir until the onions turn slightly brown, then add the Moldavian curry paste. I usually wait until the curry paste is coated all over the onions before adding a nor cube or some salt followed by some coconut milk. After the coconut milk is mixed in a little, it's time to add the reef fish. And it's common in South Asian dishes to add the protein later on in curries so that it can soak up that creamy coconut milk. And for that extra flavor, I usually add one more nor cube. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to taste this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make the rice. And this is something that um, Ghanaians cook all the time, actually. We're actually known for using basmati rice. Literally, I'm just gonna boil it like normal. Um, there's a little trick that someone taught me during uni. I obviously use a bit of oil, then I've coated the basmati rice in the oil, <laughs> stirred it for a little bit. And now I'm gonna add some water. My nose is literally leaking now. <laughs> the curry is so hot. Joe, you're gonna be able to eat this. And then it's ready to serve. First, I plate that hot, steamy rice. Oh my gosh. I then plate the curry all along the sides. Some people kind of like it on top, some people like it separately. Um, however, I just served everything on one plate. I then take the naan bread out of the oven and put it in a plate as well as placing all of the pompadons in a separate bowl. Okay, so that's that. Here is my version of the duni curry, plated and ready. I'm, I'm super chuffed, you could, can you tell? I'm so excited, I'm really gassed by this. The curry just smells so good, so, it's so strong very potent. I had a little bit of a taste while it was on the cooker. It's not that spicy, surprisingly. It just it just looks like it's just gonna taste amazing and I genuinely can't wait. But again, this was the Taste of Waldorf challenge. Two of the newest banking clean resorts have just opened up 
And if you've not seen already, head over to their Instagram pages. The properties look amazing. And hopefully I'll be recording another vlog while I'm there, hint, hint. <laughs> Check them out on Instagram. You never know. That's where you could be staying on your next holiday. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check me out on at Lisa Edunsin and also on my blog where I write reviews for restaurants, food, travel, and anything else that I find interesting. Catch that on www.lisaedunsin.com. Until the next time, thanks, bye.